everyone off to a great start on a monday it's gonna be fun we're gonna be fishing in maku maku for some biara and payara i'm pretty excited about it hopefully you are as well who's all in the chat kia simon all things planes chai zong uh alexander ben last first ballistico isaiah avery capone Jai Cole, CJ, all things, play Freshwater Wyatt, CJ again. Right on, right on, everybody. Well, Fishing Planet Monsters is here too. Reap, Ethan, the names go on, War Eagle. <laughs> well, glad to see everyone. Feel free to join in at Maku Maku. We're specifically going to be targeting Piara, uh, Biara, and Piara. Um, so get used to that, because that's what we're going to be fishing for. I have the Loki 8'10, Hormant Swarm 6,000. I'm going to be throwing some pretty heavy lures today. Uh, two and a quarter on this guy, the walker there. we got some buzz baits, um, and then we got some poppers and some other walkers and swim baits to be thrown for these dudes. So, yeah, let's just get out there and see what we can catch, I suppose. Boy, my uh, Super Vault's getting a, little, uh, getting a little low, isn't it? You're back from vacation. Right on, right on. Love the setup. Hey, thank you, thank you. Vater von BZ. <laughs> That's a creative, creative name, Dad. A hub man. Wow, goodness gracious. Part of the part of the team now. There we go. There we go. Shooting the duck down. Love it. 
Well, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Golly. All right, we're off to a good start then, eh? We are going to... So what I've seen one thing with the uh, Piara... The Piara and the Biara is that we need to... Uh, there's like one specific day where it is like the best. So we're just going to skip all this nonsense and try to get into the good stuff. Hopefully, it is what they say really good. But we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see, won't we? As always, if the music gets too loud, let me know. I have no way of knowing. Unless you tell me. But one of the uh, first stops for the BR and the PyR is actually right here in these lilies. So we are going to go, honestly, right here. And then we're just going to stop, turn on the trolling motor. And uh, yeah, you can already see the water moving right here so let's go ahead toss it back into here and start walking walking that baby back that baby back there what's your pb in real life oh i got it i got it here we go uh i think it's that one i think it's that one we'll have to see oh wait is it that one Maybe it's not. Maybe it's this. I can't. I can't quite recall. It's one of those commands. There we go. I got her down for you. Now you can see. All right. Biara, Payara, which is gonna be the first of the morning, is the question. Big old walker there. Oh, I can see. Oh, it came up. It came up. I think I scared it away. I, uh, I, I saw a flash, and I should have just left it there and let him come up for it, but instead I tried pulling it again, and right as he came up, missed it. Oh, I see another fish. Swear. Swear by it. Well, let's give it another try. Give it another try. We've also got match rods. Which we can throw out here and uh, try to get some, try to get some fish as well. I gotta like pay attention with this. This brings me back to the Fourth of July events, trying to catch the. Uh, oh, there's one. Oh, they're not very voracious, are they? Little Biara. They're trying for it though. How do you catch the Nile Perch? I, you know, I was using big baits, but you can also use uh, big shads. They have ribbed shads that do really well for those guys. Um, what else? What else? Flat Spoons was doing really well for those guys, too. How to catch big fish? Big hooks? In, in Fishing Planet, anyway. Seems like if you use larger hooks, you sometimes get into larger fish. But it does hurt your chances of getting a smaller fish. There we go. There we go. There we go. He came up for it. Did a little soft set there. Hopefully it's a decent sized Biara. This spot is specifically for the Biara, which are going to be smaller than the Piara, but it says we got... Yeah, there we go. Our first Biara. Top notch. So one out of ten on the Biara there. We got to keep on going because we need to get more. We nine more of these guys. Five more Piara. So we got a lot to do, guys. We got a lot to catch. Fighting a massive perch in the Congo will ride on. Ryuku, Ryo, Ryoko plays. My goodness, I had trouble with that one. Love this setup. Well, thank you, Bliss to go. Posted photos from the in the Discord. I'll have to look, CJ. I haven't seen it. Uh, on the man, me start playing it. It's addictive on it for hours at a time. Shane Gaming, I understand, man. It is fun to fish in different areas that you're not used to. At least that's why I like. I enjoy playing it anyway. You know. When will I get to go to uh, South America and do some fishing for uh, for actual Biara or Piara? I don't know, but uh, but I sure can do it rather quickly uh, if I just open up my uh, open it up on my computer, eh? This is gonna be a peacock bass actually coming up and grabbing this for trout. Going fishing for trout on Thursday, very cool. I I do not shy. Or is it Kai? Got a trophy butterfly. We're after a trophy Biara, not butterflies. We'll do a few more casts in this spot, and then we'll make our way down the uh, down the, the bank here. 
keep it moving. Don't want to get too bored in one spot. Uh, we could also try different lures. Don't have to stick to this walker. They also go after the popper. We can try the popper too. So if they get tired of us using this walker, we can always switch to the popper, which we might do just for funsies. Oh, I was hitting I instead of, or O instead of I. Taking off, taking off. Good deal. No catching Pyar and BR at Maku, so this stream could help. Hey, well, hopefully, hopefully it does. Yeah. We'll find out, won't we? We'll find out together, I suppose. Ooh. It's piano in the background. Setting the stage. It's dramatic. It's like Jaws. Come on, BR. Alright, I think that might be a sign to keep moving. Might be the sign to keep moving it along here. Yeah, able to get faster because it took me a full 12 hours to get hooked. Oh, no. Yeah, hopefully we are able to do it quicker. Goodness gracious. I have no doubt that we might have to, like, catch one unique Pyara and then change days or something just to, you know, be able to catch another one real quick. But uh, we'll just have to find out, I guess. Call the Wild the Angler will get any better. I do indeed, Matthew. I do indeed. Um, pretty much every time anyone's ever asked me that in, in previous streams and stuff like that, that's exactly what I've said, so. It is. Same story. I'm sticking to it. On Xbox One? I assume so. I assume it will be on Xbox One. They've said that it will be on console. They just haven't given us any information. In the past, you know, Expansive Worlds has had some trouble with console release. Um, you know, they've released it and it didn't work and people were upset. And then, uh, and then when, uh, you know, it, it, people are, are so excited, they say, oh, put it out on console already. And, you know, they rush to get it out on console and then it's, you know, it's broken in multiple ways and then... And then people are upset, and it's like, well, why'd you rush to put it out then? You should have kept working on it to make it work well. <laughs> you just can't win sometimes. You just can't win. So uh, it sounds like they're just taking their time trying to make sure everything's perfect before they put it out, which is what I would recommend, you know. Got a 48-pound flathead. That's awesome, Pierre. Good job angling and this community has helped me so much that's awesome Ryoko Ryuko god I am just I am just uh, having a tough time pronouncing that for some reason all right down to our next spot here Ooh, big fish on the radar big fish on the radar this is where I've caught lots of pyara in the past we actually have a uh, unique Pyara spot up here. A couple different unique Pyara spots up here. So I'm hopeful we'll get into something here. Baden's here. Good deal. Derek's here as well. Glad. Glad to see it. What's up, Derek? How's it going? What's happening, Colton Carroll? Oh, you know how it is, man. Just trying to catch some big old fishies. Gotta catch them big old fish. I'm not a fan of the of the popper though. I was excited to give it a shot after we tried the walker for so long, but now I'm ready to go back to the walker. I don't know what it is about the walker. It's just fun to watch it go back and forth, I guess. I don't know. Let's toss this walker out a little bit further. Got a couple different fish there. All right, walker, start walking. Seeing activity around this log right here, I'm kind of curious about just flicking it out close by and dragging it past and seeing what, seeing what comes by. I mean, we're seeing fish 
on top, so they must be in here. Must be in here. Good deal. That's why I brought with me to try it out, YouTube. Get the fish bone hook. I I don't know. We're literally doing it right now, so you, you can see it all in real time. How hard it is to get it. At the moment, we're having a little bit of trouble getting the unique Biara and Pyara to go after this darn uh, walker here. But I have faith. I have faith that we'll get him. It is a little disconcerting that we're not seeing them even, like, attempt to go after it. I haven't seen a single fish even try to come after it yet. So... Come on, you! Nothing, man. Oh, there's Peacock. Peacock there! Oh, well, we'll give a little, we'll give a little unicorn for that. All right, all right, all right. Get a little unique butterfly peacock action. Now the fish we're going for, but we'll, we'll give it a, we'll give it a unicorn. Top notch. First live stream you've seen, Komodo Dragon says. Well, right on. Glad to have you. Roger Johnson, hi. Already been a year since last year's vids. Wow, time flies. I know, Lucas, it does. Time flies. Was there a new update or no? Um, for what? What is your opinion on Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2? Uh, I played a little bit of it, but I haven't had enough time to continue playing it, so I really can't say... I can't give a good feedback, I guess. This has been the money spot. We used to always cast over here and drag it from this point on, I believe, anyway. Maybe it's up there that I'm thinking of. Oh, we already got a fish, though. Uh, I think it's a it's a piranha though. Might be a really big piranha, or just might be an okay piranha. Trophy red bellied. You're not what we're going for. You crazy. Hilo Knights here. How's it going? It's going quite well. Thanks for asking. JV basketball practice showing your knowledge a bit. Ooh, showing that knowledge. Longman says, finally get to watch for for once. Well, right on. Glad you were able to. It's getting a little bit difficult, difficult to watch this walker and read the chat, though. Boy, I thought there was a fish coming up for it for a second there. Come on, fish. Well, maybe we'll just keep on going. Maybe my spot that I was thinking of is up here. Adrian, thank you for the sub. How much did your boat cost? This boat, I didn't even, I don't, this thing didn't even cost anything. We got this with the DLC. Someone gifted us the Congo DLC, and we got this one with that. But the other bass boat was like 345000 I want to say. In-game cash. Which we got mostly from doing pike from grinding pike, but uh, you can also get quite a bit of cash from the uh, sturgeon at San Joaquin. And before you know it, you'll be purchasing yourself a boat. There's a fish. Grab it, bro. Well, I don't know if this is a Biara or a Pyara. I think this is... Yeah, it's not. It's an arowana. How about that? Well, we are just not l very lucky at the moment. <laughs> Freaking arowana. Cool fish, though. That's hilarious. Well, we're catching fish, at least. It's not boring. We're not just casting with nothing going on. <laughs> Internet very bad right now, Wolfboy says. Oh, no. That's no good. It's only one thing worse than stubbing your toe. And that's bad internet connection. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's ever said that, but uh, that's an original bow quote. There you go. Something to remember your Halloween extravaganza 2022 by. Only one thing worse than stubbing your toe. There you go. Had nothing to do with Halloween. Smash between an old tire and a hay bale. It's BZ Hub. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. It's a fake outdoorsman. In the, in the digital flesh. 
I can't believe it. It's hard to believe. I feel like I was just fishing with you not too long ago. I haven't shown or told anyone about it, but we actually caught a pretty good carp. Two pretty good carp in different ways. Come on now. All right, if they're not gonna go after this walker, we might try the swim bait. They're just being a pain at the moment. Being an absolute pain. Let's tie on a... Terminal tackle's too heavy for the rod. You gotta be joking me. Two and a half ounces right there. And this is two and a half ounces. Come on, fishing planet. Do, do some math. Do some math in your head. It ain't hard. It ain't hard. All right, let's pull this puppy along. I'm not sure whether we should do a, any sort of special retrieve or what, but let's just pull it along, I guess. Ooh, got hit by something, though. Got hit by something. Bow remembers everyone exactly right. Thank you, CJ. Almost been for over a year. Ascribed in November. Oh, right on, Mar Yeah, you are pretty darn close, aren't you, Mammoth? Swim bait's failing us as well. Why is every lure failing us? Come on. We just want Biaras and Pyaras. We have we have two two hours to catch to catch eleven no fifteen uh, fourteen fish now I guess. How hard could it be? Can we twitch this swim bait? Will that be any better? Worms at work or bait like yeah TTV. I mean we're we're getting to that point. We're getting to that point. We can certainly do it on this boat too. That's why I brought the match rods. I just was hoping they'd go for lures to keep it simple, but they're they're not. They're being butts about it. Arowana looks cool, I agree. Good luck there, Bo. Thank you, Adrian. Can fish go off the waterfall at the Congo? No. No, they can't, unfortunately. Would be neat to see though, wouldn't it? Alright, so we do have uh, two rods here that we can try as well. One with shiners and one with uh, an Araku minnow. We're gonna throw one right next to this little marker here. Probably should have threw it a little bit further because once you put it in the rod holder, it kind of pulls it forward a little bit. And we got this rod, which we'll throw back in here. And we'll hope for the best. Raku Minnow and a Shiner on those guys. And we'll keep throwing this swim bait to see if we can manage to catch something with that. Ugh. Stub your toe, you could not have internet. There you go, perfect. Thank you, Derek. <laughs> Ta taking notes. <laughs> More excited seeing you go after the fighter truck the Amazon than other monsters. Ooh, really? Well, I have you know, I have it on good knowledge, good authority. I have heard from a bird that uh, our own Macho Man Bo is uh, is the one who is going to be taking on the fighter shark. I know you're all worried. Uh, let's be honest, more worried about the opponent when it came to uh, facing old Macho Man Bo. But, uh, but yeah, it's the matchup. The matchup of the century, some are calling it. Uh, the Fighter Shark versus Macho Man Bo. Who will be victorious? People keep asking that. Um, you know, I, I'm interested to see it. I'm interested to see it. Turning 19 this month. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. What do we got here? What do we got here? This is a big Biara or a Pyara. What are we thinking? Who's thinking? We got a unique Biara or we got a regular Pyara. What are people thinking? I don't think this is a unique Pyara. Oh, just a trophy Pyara. Golly, man. Cool fish, though. We just need something a little bit bigger, don't we? And he did go for the swim bait, which is reassuring, I suppose. What are you fishing for? We're fishing for Biara and Pyara. Biara and Pyara. Biara and Pyara. New boat goes 50 miles an hour. Is that good? Like, is good boat? Sure. Freshwater Wyatt, thanks for the sub. 
We're uh, floating ever closer to these these floats here. Ever closer. There are fish within three feet. I can see them. I can see them. That guy's moving. We're gonna have to resituate our boat here. I'm just gonna cast towards this bad boy over here. Cast towards that bad boy over there, see if we can pull anything next to that tree there. I feel like we've got a unique Pyar out of that tree before. Can't see this float over here when I do that though. Have you had any luck? We've got one trophy BR at the moment. That's it. Fighting this fish since before the stream. My goodness gracious. That must be a good fish. Ooh, we got one on. We got one on. Hopefully not another bass, eh? Hopefully not another... Oh, it's small. That's not good. Is it going to be a piranha? What do we got? Like a... It is a Jacunda. I was literally about to say a Jacunda. Yeah, sure enough. Okay, well, I was not hoping for that, but that is something. Let's pull this other rod up. We need to back out of here. We need to back out of here. We could honestly probably. Wolf Boy's in a pretty decent spot there. We could probably go there too. But, let's try this again, just for good measure. Trying to, there's fish coming up on the radar, we can see them right there. Where would they be hiding? That's the question. That is the question everyone is asking. <clears throat> You're on uh, level 38 in three days, Adrian says. That's awesome. That is awesome. Alrighty. Got our rods back out of there. First fish with the circle hook yesterday. Right on, Fats Eagle. Love fishing planet, Komodo says. Any day, any time. Write it down in the calendar. <laughs> All right, I think I'm ready to go back to the walker. We're gonna go to a slightly smaller walker, though. Slightly small. It's uh, it's Jeff, isn't it? Isn't his name Jeff? I forgot the Jeff was here. To be honest, that's hilarious. We haven't seen Jeff in forever. Oh, that's bringing back memories. We love Jeff. Jeff's a great. Hey, Jeff. Really need some um. Really need some BRs and PIRs there, bud. If you see any, you know where to send them, okay? <sighs> Jeff and I go way back. Way, 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 way back. Back in college. Not that far back, but you know. That's what we used to say to the girls. I was his wingman. We just, I wanted him to, to look cool, you know. Major problem with five hook cut a unique bar and power on the same day while using it. You know, we were literally just using that not uh, ten minutes ago. Where were you? You would have known. You would have known. Now they don't seem to be going after much of anything at the moment. Um, we've tried the walker, we've tried the popper, we've tried the swim bait. Um, and this is a spot where I have in the past caught lots of payara. So oh, I see a fish move. Oh, it might be... There he goes. Oh, we missed him. Come on. Come on. You gotta be quicker than that. You gotta be quicker than that. Once he gets halfway to the boat, I'm just gonna reel it in. Reel it in. Duck Duck Goose, how's it going? Evening, evening. Finally was on time, Chase says. Heck yeah, man. Well, we had one try to go for it here. Let's throw it back out in that spot. 
There are two, two fish up on top, which is good. It's where we want them to be with this darn walker. Oh, that's a big fish coming. What the heck? What did you catch, the catch there, YouTube? You catch an air pine out of that spot? Looks like that's what you have going after one of your stuff there, anyway. On a lonely Arapaima. Arapaima. Hunting season already started in Indiana. I know, it was like opening bow season in a lot of different places. So very cool. Arapaima at the Amazonian Maze. We know we actually just put out a uh, River Monsters video of the Arapaima. I'd recommend checking that out, TTV. Well, Ballistico, go get some uh, go get some stuff at Emerald, I suppose. Man, I just don't know. About to go back to the popper, I guess, because I'm out of I'm out of uh, out of luck. They're not going after bait. They're not going after the walker. They're not really going after the swim bait either. They're just not going after anything. We just need to find that magic lure that they're just like going after like crazy. Gangbusters, you know? Dalton Nim, how's it going? What's the best way to get money at level 8 and $50? You got $50, you better go back to Lone Star, man. The only place you're going to afford to 50 bucks. Alrighty, got our walker, our popper back out here. Grind from level 50 to 55. Darn surgeon, man. ESS. You know, something I might try as well, just for the heck of it, since I'm running out of ideas. I've also got uh, a buzzbait. And they do, it did say that they go after shad and grubs. Um, and a buzzbait's a lot more fun to, uh, to pull out here anyway. Instead of uh, clicking a bazillion times because of a popper or something like that. Oh. No, you've just got another. I keep seeing the... Uh, the, the fish underneath the water going after your stuff, YouTube. He's got so many darn fish over there. Arapaimas and stuff like that. I wish I could be going after an Arapaima right now. Oh, no! He's got it. He's got it. There we go. Oh... I have a feeling this is going to be a real small Pyara. But I wouldn't mind. Ugh. Come on! We want a big in. We want a big in. Why can't you give us a big in? Alright, alright. Let's try this just because I'm running out of ideas here. Running out of ideas that they may go for. What do we got? Four odd hook? Throw a grub on the back of here, maybe. It says they also go after worms. We could throw a worm on the back of there. We'll just throw this out here. I don't even know if they'll go after a buzz bait. I don't think I've ever tried one. Maybe I have, and I just don't remember it. Been a while since you've been on the stream, Tackle Box with Joey says. Well, glad you're back, man. Can't wait to fish here. Will be pretty cool. That's always the payoff, right? When you have uh, all the different locations you wish you could have uh, fished at, and then you're finally there fishing. It's a good feeling. Boy, it keeps getting hit by things, but we just don't know what those things are. They look awfully small. Oh. Boy, it got hit by three different fish. Three different fish. 
So I think we'll give this one more cast. And I think we're going to make our way because they're not going after bait. They're not going after lures. They're just being a right pain right now. Come on, fish. Got hit by something again. It's right behind that marker. We can't even see it. Pulling it through the marker now. Wouldn't mind seeing a big ol' uh, Hayara or Biara show up. But so far, nothing. Okie dokie. Top notch. Well, let's reel these in, I guess. Because I'm done being here. For better fishing, we are in the middle of the best fishing, Jesse. Um, oh, that's right. Stupid me. I haven't played Fishing Planet for that long. I forgot to switch time. Silly goober. Of course we changed the time to the best time. Little piranha here. Little piranha here. All right, let's keep on going. It's open bow season. Oh no, I hope not. Well, that wouldn't be good for me, would it? Wouldn't be good for me. All right, we're gonna try some casts around here. Ooh, in, in there. Got some stuff going on in there. See some fish showing up. Yeah, look at all the fish showing up on the radar there. Let's cast some stuff out here. I'm gonna cast one way back here. And we'll cast the other one right in the middle of it, I think. And then we'll cast our uh, we'll cast our walker into the middle as well. See if we can pull anything out of this spot. Okay, back to the old walker here. The old walker Texas Ranger. Dare we go back to the five odd? I think we will. <laughs> Gotta go to sleep, all right, Roger. See you later. I would say so. I just follow the uh, series two beginner series probably. Come on, fish. Got a two-star walk here. It's pretty impressive. Impressive enough for a trophy Biara. Gotta be a trophy Biara in there that wants this bad boy. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Feel it. Feel the walker. Oh, maybe that other... Oop, there's a small fish going after it. A little peacock bass. There goes our uh, match rod. That's hopefully promising. Grab it, he now. Grab the rod. No! Why would you grab that rod? Stupid. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, I got some. Oh, it's a freaking air pimer. Are you joking me? Ugh. Well, that is something we're going to run into, I suppose. And no, they don't, Carrie. First Cascot Trophy Payara. All right. Well, you saw us using it. It wasn't working. I'm not lying. I'm not just making stuff up to make you happy. You know, we are trying it. Love the Pyar fishing, IDK says. Well, glad. Glad to hear it. Got a uh, small air pima on this, which is going to keep taking line out. I'm just going to reel this in. That way we can use the trolling motor. Reel this in. That way we can use the trolling motor again. Oh no. No, 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 no. Come on, fishing planet. 10 feet. 
Oh my god, seriously, that's it. Anything big? Uh, so far, the biggest thing we've caught is the Star Narapaima, which we did not even mean to get. Obviously, because this gear is not... Is not Arapaima ready. Though it should handle it, no problem. You should cast behind you. Yeah, totally, bro. Back where we were just casting. What rod stand can be used on a dock? Pretty much anything that doesn't, like, stick into the dock. Um, there's, like, one... There's, like, one rod stand that has... That holds two. And, uh, and it specifically are, like, stakes to go in the ground. And you can't use it... Um... You can't use it on a dock. But... How deep is it here? Yeah. You would think it's about four or five feet deep. You'd think 36 inches would be fine. Let's see if there's anything around this log here. An additional Halloween mission this year. Uh, yeah. That's what I've been telling people anyway. That's what I've been told. We'll see what it is. We will see what it is. What's your PB Arapaima? I'm, you know, I'm not really sure. We'll, we might have to look at that here in a bit. Yeah, honestly, the uh, my most hated monster fish mission. Um, before this one was, uh, was one getting these big pike out of, uh, Octuba? I think it was Octuba. God, that was an annoying mission. And that took most of a live stream one time, too. Um, but we finally got it. Finally got it! Um, and I feel like this one might be fairly similar. I don't know why... We started it off so simple with the Trophy Biara. And then ever since then, we haven't been very lucky, have we? Haven't been very lucky at all. Yeah, I've heard that before, Tacklebox. <laughs> Have any tricks for the, the eel at Grand Tunerzen? Um, I think, uh, the eel bait. Try to look up eel bait. The eel bait video of ours. I think that has some eel fishing in that. I think we use small minnows, I want to say. I'm not, not entirely sure. No, I don't think so, idiots. Gotta keep it natural. Alright. Dude, I am, I am at a loss. We've honestly been fishing all morning long. We've caught... Two Pyara, not big enough to keep, not a unique anyway, and a tro and one Trophy Biara, and a ton of other fish that we didn't need. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Well. Where should we go now? Where should we go now? Just reel these in and switch to, uh, Agamako's Your Most Hated. Your Most Hated. There is someone behind you! <gasps> There's a pumpkin and and fish. Spooky fish. Oh, we're gonna skip that. Cause I don't wanna wait. Alright, hopefully the evening's better than uh the morning anyway. In the past, whenever we caught Pyar here, it was always in the morning though. You know, honestly, if we found some Biara over here, we might be able to find some on that side, too. Seems like the further we go that way, the more uh, Pyara we get into, so... 
Might have to stay over here if we want to stick with the Viara instead of the Pyara. Let's get up here and come to a stop and start casting for those Biara again. Oh. Lock with small cut bait on the bottom to fish up eels there. Maybe that's what we used. I just can't remember. It's been so long since I've been to uh, Grand Turnusum. The eel cannibal monster, I think, was the uh, was the last time I went there. Try to fish those guys. Does get fairly deep over here. Cast the old swim bait around, see if we can get into anything. Those fish on the bottom should go after this, you would think anyway, right? You would hope. Kratz, how's it going? There's a fish. Oh, it's a freaking peacock, dude. They're killing us. They're killing us inside. We get so excited that we finally have a fish on. That ends up being a peacock. Oh, there we go. How long have you been playing? I've been playing since 2018. I, I'm not honestly sure. I don't think I've been playing since 2018, that's for sure. I think we started back in 2019? Like the channel started back in 2019, so. Piranha on the one. I don't think this is going to be a very big fish either. Another Jacunda? Frickin' Jacundas, bro. Alright. Alright. You're making me hate this. You're just making me hate this so much. Uh, maybe we'll try four odd, okay? I don't know if that'll change anything, but we'll give it a shot. There's so many fish in here that go after other fish, you know? If it were some, like, vegetarian-like fish or, wor you know, fish that only like worms... It wouldn't be so bad, but because we're literally just going after fish that eat other fish constantly, piranhas, payara, biara, arapaima, like they're all in here. It makes it kind of difficult to specify. It's really just down to the hook at that point. So hopefully we can uh, still get into them. Thirty first of October, it's your birthday. We'll ride on. This Aber guy is just on one tonight, isn't he? <laughs> oh, I'm just glad that we can give people like that something to do at night. You know, I really worry for them. They could be out. Oh, I don't know tagging things with spray paint or something but instead they took the time to, to click on the video see what we were doing you know say there's a guy behind us that was fun you know for a second there almost believed him oh a little halloween um then he brought up his favorite candy nerds that's fun that's halloweeny yeah, i'm more of a reese's guy myself but you know that's cool Piranha's going after a, a lure the same freaking size as him. What a loser, dude. <sighs> okay, well, let's go back to the walker, I suppose. I don't know what else to do. Where do you catch the tiger shark? There are no tiger sharks. You crazy? There goes that rod. All right, see you later. Crack. 
We'll keep working on this. We got another Jacunda here, I think. Yep. These darn Jacunda are more active than I thought they were. Honestly, not even gonna I'm not even gonna throw that back out there. 40 pound Uni Northern. Very cool. Who hurt him? <laughs> Yeah, this is not, this is not good. This is not good, it's not good. I'm honestly at a loss, I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do, guys, but we got another fish on somehow. Freaking piranha. Let's, uh, just to say we did it, let's go over to the uh, Payara spot. Try it out at evening. How do you fast forward time? On keyboard, it's T. I'm not sure what it is on Xbox or a console, you know. confused why there's big fish showing up on the radar why are there big fish showing up on the radar well where do where should we even throw out let's throw one right here maybe we'll throw one on the other side of this log thing just just so that we know we did and just for on the off chance that there happens to be something over there that goes for it well then uh you know we gave it a try. Catch more fish in mud water? Not that I've already put into a video, man. If you if you've seen all the videos, I got nothing else for you. There are fish at the three foot mark. Try this walker a little bit, and then we'll go back to the swim bait, I guess. When are you going to play Bassmaster Fishing 2022? Probably never, Jack. I mean, to be honest, it's uh, it was just kind of a time filler game, and I've got a lot of other games to play, so I don't really have time for it. Come on, fish. Go after the walker. Don't believe so, Simba. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know what you're talking about. When's the next beginner series vid coming out? November. Right? Because we got a Halloween extravaganza going on all October. So we don't have any normal videos out till November. And honestly, it's not going to be anything different, guys. We're going to keep fishing for pike until we're a high enough level to go to San Joaquin. If you're wanting to know what we're going to be doing, just go watch the other series. Because we're doing exactly what we did in the other series, but in free-to-play. There's that I hate to give it away, but that's exactly what we're doing. It, it's, uh, I might, might be, uh... I should have probably said spoiler alert or something like that, but honestly. Are you ever going to play Russian Fishing 4 again? I'd like to. Just don't really have time to because I'm spending two hours of a stream trying to catch 15 fish and probably won't do it. Can't wait. Steven, how's it going? How's it going? What about a purple swim bait? Huh? He likes purple swim bait? So you're going off now. Okay. A little piranha, I guess. Oh, no, 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 no. What are we? It's a little Biara. A little tiny Biara. Wow. Okay. Well, we actually caught a Biara. And it's a little tiny guy. I don't know if that's a sign that we shouldn't have been using four odd hooks or what. <sighs> I don't know if it makes me any happier to know that we caught a Biara because it's not the right size. 
This is turning out to be a nightmare, I know. You held a lot. Level 8 now. Right on, Kretz. That's awesome. Okay, we're moving forward already. Moving forward. Hey, and when it comes to fishing planet, it's either you're burning your wallet or you're burning your time. Sometimes a little bit of both. How's your day? I had a pretty good day, to be honest. Until now, I was really hoping this would go a lot faster, but it's not. We've caught one trophy Biara, and that's it. What about you, YouTube? Are you catching anything? Catching anything over there? What is the new monster fish? I, I don't know. There are no new monster fish other than the Mighty Mbenga is the, is the newest one, I guess, in the Congo. It's a curse. It's a curse. You know, the thing is, is that it's really just Maku Maku. We used to come when we only had Maku Maku, you know, before we had Marone River. Um, we were fishing and we would fish for Arapaima and then we would come over here and fish for Payara. And we did this for a few different streams where we would go catch Arapaima, then come over here and catch a unique Payara. And we would do that over and over again because we always knew like we could spend the morning catching Arapaima and then we could leave and come over here and catch a unique Payara. And that would just kind of be our day activity, and then we'd skip to the next day. Well, then, all of a sudden, one day, we came out here for a live stream, tried to do the same thing, caught the Arapaima, came over here to catch the Payara. This is actually a pretty good-sized Payara. Came over here to catch the Payara, and um, and the Payara didn't show up. And we tried again, and it didn't work. We tried again, and it didn't work. And... Uh, and yeah, we kind of gave up. We were like, wow, we got cursed. We're no longer catching Pyara. This might actually be one of the unique Pyara that we were looking for, though. Come on. Let's go! Ooh. Finally. Finally. Golly, golly, gosh. Golly, golly, auction free. Finally, everybody. Well, that's one of five down. Got him in the evening. Stuck. Ugh. My golly. You can see those giant teeth there in the mouth. That's exactly what this tooth is being, uh, or this tooth, tooth hook is being made out of. But, uh, pretty cool. I guess I'm not really sure what we can do from here. We can maybe catch another Biara, but I doubt it. Might as well switch to the next day already. Because <laughs> we're not we're just wasting time at this point. What's going up on the radar? There are fish on the radar. We could somehow manage to get a Biara. That'd be alright. That'd be alright. We might have to move to another spot first though. There might still be some Biara out here. Put your fingers in his mouth. Do it! Do it! Put your fingers in his mouth. Could have buy a nice boat and you could go to the sea, but my my, every single fish this is in the sea. So nice if they added to the game. You, you, maybe someday, man. There is. Oh, okay, okay. I was about to say there is a fish coming after it right now. Right, it is a small payara, and then we got another one that took off on the other rod. Trophy payara on one rod. Now we got this guy. Hopefully, a trophy biara would be real nice. There goes the other rod. It's a freaking Jacunda, though, of course. Been catching these Jacunda left. Oh, it's a personal best Jacunda. Well, there's a time for everything, isn't there? Come on, Hinel. Grab the freaking rod, bro. Oh, my God. You are killing me. Do you not know when I'm pressing shift? Killing me inside. I'm dying inside slowly. You all can't tell, but I am. Hinel's slowly killing me with his alien powers. Good fish to go for in the Everglades, uh, if you want to. I mean, it's not really a money maker by any means. Just something different to catch. 
When are you gonna play the Hunter Call of the Wild? I don't know, Steven. What? I don't know. Do you realize how many people ask me if I'm gonna play a game? If I played every game that every person ever asked me, I would have no time to play all the other games. Hundred and fifty pound tarp and a blue crowd. Dang, man, very nice. Now, if Call of the Wild was doing a Halloween event, you think I'd probably do an episode? You betcha. You bet I would, because it's a Halloween extravaganza, and that's what we're doing. But they're not. They're not doing any Halloween events. They did a Halloween event the first year that it was out. Or the second year, or the third, I can't remember if it was 2018. It was probably 2018 or 2017, I can't remember. I think it was 2018. Maybe. Maybe 2019. Anywho, after that, they did nothing. They haven't done a single Halloween event since. And it doesn't make any sense. I swear someone accidentally deleted the files, and instead of like trying to remake it, they just take it for a loss and they just quit and don't even try to make it anymore. How do you cast far with bobbers? We literally put out a video about that the other day, like literally last week. Oh, well, right on, Steven. Should I keep my 10 pound set up or should I get 10 um, to 1? 10 to 1 dollar? What are you trying to say there? We do have a fish going off here. Small one. Little piranha. Really hoping we would get something a little bit larger than that. Fifty pound shark at blue crab, did you, Steven? Pretty impressive. Same number of fish, I bet you are bored already. How are we still on the same number? We literally caught a unique pyara like two minutes ago. You must eat dinner really quickly. That's awesome, David. Glad to see it. All right, I'm tired of this spot already. We're not catching anything. So, so far, I've chalked it up. Mornings are for Biara. Catch yourself a Biara. Hopefully two. If you catch two, if you catch two Biara, two trophy or unique Biara in the morning, and then you move to the evening and catch one unique Pyara, then you just do that five times and you're done. So... That's what we're gonna try to do this next morning. We're gonna go, we're gonna try to catch. Let's get, just go ahead and move over there first before we change time. Hold on to your hats. if there are Biara over here, though. We catch $24,000 worth of fish somehow, though. It's kind of cool. I am very curious if there are Biara over here. Wow, these are really deep right here. That's pretty interesting. Okay. Gonna make this a little bit deeper here. Even though it says 24 feet. <laughs> Definitely not lowering it that much. 24 foot between the bobber and the hook would be pretty insane. Oh, uh, no. 
Biggest fish we've caught on uh, fishing planet would be uh, the Nile perch, probably. I haven't said a lot because I was grinding air climb at Amazonian Maze. Well, you better get to freaking gr grinding that study in there, brother. You could have been, you could have been, uh, you could have had your rods out with the book in front of you, reading away, and then when you had a rod take off, reel in the fish, throw back out there, and start reading again. What were you thinking, huh? Find ways to streamline your work. Okay. Back to the five alt walker. Come on, Biara. We could also try the uh, poppers since everyone seems to think the poppers are amazing as well. I tell you what, there's only one thing I have zero tolerance for, and that is hearing you kids not doing well in school. Ah, uh, I can't stress it enough. I I I know I come off. <laughs> I know I come off as super cool guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, I was I was super serious in school. I did really well in school. That's why, you know, got what I did. That's why I got the jobs I have. Is worked hard, got all that, had good grades, impressed some good people, and and that's where that's that's how I got to this spot. You know, I'm not someone who lazily made my way through high school, then started a YouTube channel and and life's good. You know, no, there's a lot of hard work behind that. And, uh, and if you think you're just going to be able to, to make your way through school like it's nothing and still be successful, I mean, you have a very small percentage of doing that. You got to take it seriously, guys. Come on. There is some movement over here. It's halftime now. Okay, after this cast, we'll do halftime. There is some movement over here. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about it. Oh, no, it's an Arapaima. You've got to be joshing me. You got to be joshing me. Come on, that is not what I wanted. I'm excited that it's a cool fish, and we did see, we saw the movement on the water. <laughs> that oh, we're very hopeful, very hopeful that it would be a Biara, but it's not. At least it's a small Arabima, not a big one that's gonna take us around the lake. School's hard, yeah. It's easier the more you work at it. Me though. Yeah, I know, right? At least it's only 38 pounds though. All right, you match rods are just being more annoying than you're worth. You're not catching that many fish. We haven't caught a single one of the fish we need on one of these match rods. Well, do you think we'll catch one on the uh, the popper then? There's been a lot of people saying the popper's good. We can try that. Throw it back in here and see if we can pull out a Biara. Otherwise, we're gonna start making our way back. Oh, shoot. E-nail, come on, man. Get your throws together. Thomans. Where's the Thomans? Because their tooth hurts. Because their tooth hurts. Yeah. Those darn tooth pain, man. They can lead to some pretty crazy headaches, though. But still, I don't think that would keep me from going into work. <laughs> Half time. Yes, you're right. Sorry. Sorry. Hopefully, by the time we come back, I'll uh, I'll have another fish. Easy Hub Halftime Show. Not sponsored by any of these brands. Now, take it away, Dwarven Pirate! Arr! Aren't you tired of not being a part of the ship of BZ Hubbards? Well, are you? Support Bo and the BZ Hub by becoming a member today for only two measly doubloons! And if you're feeling extra generous, become a Hub Lord for only ten pieces of booty a month! But if you've got treasure bursting from your pockets, become a hub master for only 20 doubloons a month. And that's a great price. And if you ask Bo, he'll say I'm cutting this a little short. What? Wait, is that a hype joke? Curse you, Bo! Avast ye matey! Agar! Anna! 
now, a glimpse into the future. Extravaganza, featuring episodes of spooky games sure to give you a fright, and seven all new monster fish missions and fishing planet sure to get every ghoul and goblin trembling, all coming this 2022 Halloween season. Be there or be beyond food. Now, back to your scheduled broadcast. I just want to say thanks. Could have sworn I had the desktop sound off. I'm sorry you had a big old boat go through go through the uh halftime show there. Number 11 with the unique Jacunda. Oh my goodness. That's high esteem right there. That's what that's what people, you know, live their whole lives to be a part of the Jacunda leaderboard. All right, this is where we caught the first Biara. Can we get lucky? Can we get lucky or something? That's all I want. That's all I want. I just want a few Biara. There is no fish on this radar whatsoever. We might just have to try a different, different day altogether, I guess, because this is just pitiful. Just pitiful. What are we even doing with our lives? You and three other people playing Phasmophobia. Oh, yeah. I remember everybody. I saw that. I... I uh, what you should do tomorrow? I think uh, you should figure out why they threw your lunch away. Popper, I'm not feeling it. Not feeling the popper. I'm sorry. I know there's a lot of people who think it's the cat's meow, but it's just not working for us. So why did they throw your uh, your lunch away? And you'll come back. All right. I th two times a little. It, it, it's a, it's a bit much. I don't think I'd read a book twice. That's ridiculous. Come on, Walker, walk. Come on, Walker. The heck are you, freaking peacock? Reeling at the wrong speed here. Uh, I'm I'm honestly not sure, man. I can't remember what my uh, setup was in the beginner series season two. That's what I recommended to people. Come on, Biara. We got that trophy Piara in this spot at the same time yesterday. There's no Biara now, evidently. Come on, it's a fish. Okay, evidently there's just nothing in here. Just nothing, no fish. They all, all the fish died. They were all poisoned overnight or something.
That's pretty cool, but Gerard? Good job. Love to see a pick. You shit you you know the rules. You know the if you talk about catching a fish, you gotta share a picture on the Discord. Ghost llamas came out of nowhere and is laughing. Oh, freaking arowana, are you joking me? Oh, we got a freaking arowana. Don't know why. What's the Discord name? What are you talking about, Discord name? It's another free that of the Beezy Hub Discord. You got an invite in the description. Grab it, fish. Freaking bass. Freaking bass. Oh my god. I'm gonna throw you on a hook. Ugh. I'm like, you have no idea. Inside, I'm happy that we're actually catching fish because I'd rather catch a fish than not catch anything at all. But I'd rather be catching a Biara overall. There's a freaking Jacunda. They're also being very annoying. Ooh. Well, we've had three casts in this spot, three fish. We've caught two of them, one of them missed it. Oh, BR, 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 oh, we got him, we got him, we got him, oh, let's go, oh my gosh, killing me inside, BR, you're killing me inside, why you do these things, BR, why you do, why you make Bo sad, Gah. goodness gracious, well, we got the Biara. Yippee Kai Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, taking pics. Stop flipping, I'm taking pics of you and Hino. <sighs> Jeff! Jeff! Was this because of you? Thanks, buddy. That was Jeff. Jeff did that. All right, we got our mark for the unique Biara. We got it now. Thanks, Jeff. Jeff did that for us, you guys. Okay. Jeff's still around, so he might give us another one. Jeff is the helpful Black Cayman. After five days at the lake. After five days at the lake. Yeah, true. I mean, to be honest, we skipped the first three without even trying fishing. Come on, Biara. I'm just hoping to catch one trophy. I mean, think about how many trophies you usually catch before you catch a unique. And we have not seen a single one of them. Just one unique Biara today I tell you what one uh, video I am I have two of them too one video I am excited for you to all to watch is called witch hunter it's like a 18th century you play as this 18th century witch hunter with like a flintlock musket and pistol or handgun or whatever and um, and you go hunting for a werewolf and like a witch and stuff like that. I don't know. I thought it was really fun because you just don't play enough games where you uh, where you hunt with a musket. It was just it was just really different and I really enjoyed it. So uh, yeah, we got two videos hunting a uh, werewolf coming out next week. I'm excited to see what you all think of that one. 
fishing planet monster if it's a fishing planet monster you betcha if it's a uh if it's a fish that you've caught you put it in the in real life fishing hunting photos all right ever since we caught that fish we have not had a single other fish come up and try to grab this so i guess we're gonna i guess we'll try one more spot we'll throw over here just for the heck of it there are still fish showing up on the radar. We're just not getting any of them to go after this lure. There's a fish. Freaking bass, though. Freaking bass, though, bro. You know what? It will be cool that there was an alligator fish monster. Yeah, I mean there are three. Um, uh, you mean you mean like a literal alligator monster? Like you catch an alligator? I mean, there's alligator gar monsters. There's three of them. They have the uh, the yeti gar, the ogre gar, and the vampire gar, or something like that. Um, but yeah. using a DLC raw the bottom raw from the Congo one got a unique air pump and it broke the line oh no dang dang got a 10 pound blue catfish in real life Parker very nice you got any picks you got any picks we'd love to see them got a bunch of small fish at 11 feet there are splashes right here though what's that about huh what's that about why are you splashing? Had to give it a shot. One more cast just so that we can live... Live without catching anything here, I guess. There's really nothing showing up on the radar, though, so... But the splashing, man, there's splashes. All right, time to move forward. There's two big fish on the bottom now. Trophy Lodge and Fishing Planet, I don't know. It would be cool. Big fish showed up on the radar there. All right, everyone hold their tongue right. Gotta catch another big fish. YouTube, you have either a, a small arapaima or a giant arowana on one of your left rods. I think that there that has to be a unique arowana if you just reel in your left rod right now. That's a big arowana, dude. That thing is like three feet long. I I did see that sea north, yeah. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. Almost 11 pounds. Dude, I saw that guy under the water. I knew he was big. Huberta, what's going on? 
Come on, come on. Ayara. Ayara. Come get a walker. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, he's a small one, but he got it. Boy, he just came out of nowhere, didn't he? Trophy Payara. That's something, anyway. There are three big fish up on top of the water right now. We just need to be patient, I guess. Put the both in picture. No trouble there. there tons of them lurking upon our fish. I want to catch them. They're good. Eight to ten corner bread. Yeah, the thing is, I don't I don't fish with corner bread. I fish with uh, pack bait. I have a ton of videos over that. Okay, if you could be a trophy, Biara. Oh, you're a small Pyara. It's so hard to tell with these guys. They get small, and you think, okay, you could maybe be a Biara. And then you pull them out, and they're just Pyara, and you're like, eh. Eh. I, I don't know. Ghost? Honestly, I, I don't like fishing games that have aquariums. I think they're dumb. They never have a true... Like, they never have the true size of the fish. They're always just like... They always make the, the bigger fish smaller so that they fit in the aquarium. And I hate that. So ever since, I've always despised aquariums and video games. They'll be like, oh, you finally caught the 10 foot long mega catfish. Congratulations. And then you put it in your aquarium and you come back and the thing's like four feet long. And yeah, he looks big compared to everything else, but like, I didn't catch a four foot long fish. I caught a 10 foot long fish, you know? Huberta, thanks for the sub. I don't know what you're talking about, FK. Oh, oh the angler will wait till it gets more updated because I know it's a new game, it has bugs. Um, I mean, I mean, there's really no... Like, there's no rush to get it, right? There's some things that I would say, like, I would wait till they fixed it to buy it. It's gonna be a much better game once they fix a few things. So, I mean, I would just, I'd just be patient. Excited for the extravaganza this year. Ooh, bruh. I am as well. I've been, uh, I've been getting everything ready. Once I finish uh, editing this last video, we'll have two weeks planned out, which I've never done before <laughs> in the history of my channel. So uh, hopefully I can get those two weeks planned out. I've caught all of the Cyber Piranha, spoiler alert. So that video will come out in the third week of October. And then uh, most of the monster fish will be caught in the last week of October, so. So, there you go. There's the game plan. The overall game plan. Fishing lodge with taxidermized fish. Exactly. But even then, like, those taxidermized fish, they need to be true to size. You know? If I catch a freaking... I don't even know. Big old black whisker catfish that's eight feet long or something. Like, by George, that, that catfish better be eight feet long in my house. You know? Yeah, I would too. I just don't really have any way of getting them at the moment, which is kind of sad. I don't have, um... We've been gifted both DLCs to the game, like to, uh, to the, uh, Congo. And, uh, and I'm not sure I can buy them again, is the problem to get more time to go to the Congo. So, uh, 
Unless I was level 75 right now. I really don't have any way of uh, of going to the Congo to catch the Mighty Omega. So that kind of stinks. Wow, very cool, Gerard. Not catching anything over here. Gonna cast over your, your lines there, wolf boy. No big, though. No big. Musky on Halloween night. Wow, is that one? A haunted musky. The ghost musky. The golem musky. My goodness, 414 pounds. Wow, he's out. Very cool. You mean you've been fighting that thing this entire time, Ricky? Because I know you were fighting fish when we first started the stream. Back at 730. Understandable. All right, well, I think it's... We, we once again caught one trophy slash unique BR the entire time. How does that freaking happen, dude? How does that happen? Let's hope that we can catch another unique Pyara. What you pick, bass or catfish in the game? What are you talking about, Roberta? Come get the swim bait, Payara. You know you want it. Yummy, yummy swim bait. There he is. There he is. I think he's only a trophy, though, but he did go after it. Oh, trophy Payara. 15 pounds. Too bad we don't need any trophy Payaras. We'd be all set, wouldn't we? What's up, T Smart? Those, uh, these darn, uh, Payara are kind of like, they remind me of musky fishing. Like, you start out throwing way over there by the vegetation, and you don't end up catching them until you're, like, 15 feet away from the boat. And they're, like, right up here in front of you. And it's like, my god, why don't you just get it when it goes in front of the vegetation, like every other fish? No, I haven't, me two two four. I I don't have enough stuff to put the video together at the moment, so I need to I need to f shoot some more uh, video. That's crazy, Ricky. Well, you are one determined guy, and I I appreciates that. Sockeye are also like that. We got something small anyway. Gonna be a unique peacock, isn't it? No, it's a freaking jacunda. What are you doing, Jacunda? Gah! Get out of here with your Jacundaness. We're after the big Payaras. Striped bass in real life, very cool. Striped bass can get pretty darn big. That's pretty cool. Come on, Payara! Like the best. Whole crawdad! Wow, he's owie. Whole crawdad in the live well. That's impressive. You'll have to apprentice with him. Could you imagine passing an entire live crawfish? Huh? Might get you might get pinched on the butt. Think that bass cared? No siree. See you later, Meat224. My goodness. Wow, that's a monster. Big ocean. Yep. TTV. 
It's the first time I've heard of that. I'm kidding. Yeah, there's a ton of people who have asked for Adam Pass, and they've already said that they have an ocean map that they're working on right now. We just have to wait and see what it is. Ooh, come on, fish. Come on. We've had one fish go after it. These fish are just really annoying. They are very particular about what they're going after. Nope, Steven, we haven't finished it. Sure, hi Lucas. Say hi Lucas. A one-hit wonder! God it sure makes you it sure makes you think so. Uh yep, if we ever have time, we'll certainly have to do that. I don't have enough time at the moment. We have an entire month of Halloween videos out, so where would I have time to do Way of the Hunter? BB. I don't know if it's going to do that being all capital letters. There we go. It did. It worked. Where's the unicorn? Well, we've got one unicorn, but we haven't caught a second one. We're still hunting for him. Come on, Popper, give me two. Give me two stars, Popper. Popper's driving me insane. I, I'm so sick of do using Poppers. Alright, we're gonna use the walker for a little bit here, and if we don't get anything on the walker in like two casts, then we're gonna go back to the next morning, I guess, because I'm out of ideas. I'm out of ideas. These fish are just so freaking stubborn. They don't ever go after anything, and then all of a sudden they go after something. Woo! There was something going after that. Gotta be quicker than that. You gotta be quicker than that. It looked yellow, like a peacock bass or an arowana. Oh, you were giving me two stars, now you're not giving me anything. One more cast. Yep, last week in October. We got another error as a it's an arowana, a small arowana. Okay. Well, we caught another fish. It's just not the fish we were going for. Let's uh. And what else do we got to lose? Let's go ahead and stay another day. We'll, we'll, we'll fish at a different time this time. Use some live bait. We were using live bait in the beginning, Chase. We got tired of using the live bait because we weren't catching anything. Well, there was a small Viara. Or a Pyara. At least they're in here. Mm. 
Yes, you can use live bait. Someone came over and tried to grab it. It was either a small Pyara or a Biara. Yeah, I read that the first time, Tease Mark. Peacock. a big fish on top it says where it is is the question on Wednesdays Mondays and Wednesdays 730 to 930 p.m. Central this is a br but i feel it's gonna be a it is a br oh my gosh oh we saw okay so we did see we did see him come over and try to grab it one other time and i thought to myself that could be a big br or it could be a small pyara and even when we had him hooked up i still wondered if we had a freaking br or pyara Oh, I'm so glad for it to be that. Okay. Well, that just means we need more of them. <laughs> seven, seven more of those guys. Golly, golly, gosh. Yeah, the thing is, when I throw out live bait, I can't move the boat at all. So if it pulls me in one direction and I'm and it's not great to be casting, then I can't move it without getting the two rods out. And we did that the entire first half of the stream, and it was really annoying, which is why I'm not throwing out live bait. So if you see anyone else ask about live bait, please tell them that I already did it for half the stream, and I don't want to do it anymore because I'm tired of saying it. I've already answered the question four times and I realize people are coming in and asking the question because they haven't been here to see the whole first stream and it's nothing against them they just didn't know that I've already done it so if you could tell them for me I would really appreciate it my goodness he's smart that doesn't sound good you know there's not many things to remember as you're growing up but eating and drinking is one of them you need to remember to keep eating stuff and keep drinking stuff so uh that's not good get your cat fixed okie doke get your cat fixed sounds like a good idea see ya next time gerard Probably still gonna be trying to catch these darn BR and Pyara. Be nice if we could get halfway during this live stream. That way, during the next live stream, we could finish it up. <laughs> still got two more trophy BR to catch and four more unique Pyara to catch. Spoopy music, exactly. Spoopy. Not get anything else out of there.
I have caught a uh, unique Pyara next to this log. I didn't mark it, evidently, because I don't have a marker over there, but I know I've caught one. Someone came up and tried to grab it. That looked like a Pyara. There's a red-bellied piranha. They're trying to grab him. Cool, pal Talon. I called you Palin. Talon Palmer. Your favorite bird. Shoebill. Shoebill, is it a stork? I think it's a shoebill stork. So there's a, uh, like a ghost bird in South America, which is also pretty cool. But between those two, uh, those two birds, those are my favorites. Thank you, Huberta. Ramen noodles. Well, I'm glad you finally made it. That's awesome. This is a extremely difficult stream. Been trying to catch two fish the entire time. And while we've caught them, we just need to catch more of them. It's not, it hasn't been fun. That's a big one. That's a big pyara. That's a good size one. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm so worried that it's just going to be a trophy. He's a good size, though. Don't be a trophy. Please don't be a trophy. Please don't be a trophy. No! Oh, it's just a trophy! Ah! Ugh. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Keeps us young. Keeps us real young. Catching trophy... Trophy Pyara. Fish on the wall of you looks like a Goliath tiger fish. It's actually a regular tiger fish, African tiger fish. And it wasn't out of the Congo, it was on the Zambezi. Which is another African river. But yes, that's where that's where we caught it. Are you going to record Bassmaster again? I don't know. Thinking about playing Bassmaster is like thinking of having diarrhea. I don't look forward to it. Is it inevitable? Probably. But I, I hope it doesn't happen for a long, long time. Like, I'm not looking forward to playing it. No, the Halloween missions usually don't make it to Fishing Planet until like the last week of Halloween. They, they, it's really, I hate the timing of the Halloween stuff. I wish they would make it in October and then have it go throughout the last week of, of, of October into November. But instead, what they do is they like start it like three days before Halloween and then they make it go like two weeks into November doesn't make any sense because by the end of Halloween then what's the point of doing Halloween missions and yet they have all these Halloween missions for you to do after Halloween I hate that it's like when they uh, you see trailers for movies and you think ooh 
that's gonna be a spooky movie i can't wait to watch that you know for halloween this year and then they're like coming soon november 14th and you're like why november 14th halloween's already over i'm not gonna want to watch spooky movies after halloween i'm gonna be getting ready for thanksgiving and christmas you missed your shot i'm not gonna watch it till the next year now you shouldn't even have made the movie you messed up you missed it by 14 days what were you thinking you know people i'm telling you you had one job you made a spooky movie and you needed to get it out before halloween and yet you get it out two weeks afterwards what's the deal all right, one last cast, and we're we're moving, I guess. I don't know where to go, but we're moving somewhere. Whack! Thank you for the sub. Level do you have to be to go to Maku? I'm not really sure, honestly. 58? I'm not sure. The monkeys, the monkey sounds. Tell you what we haven't tried. We there are fish on the bottom. I don't know what they are, but let's throw one spin. We'll throw a swim bait real quick here. Just to see if we get anything. Just to say we tried it. Yeah, I haven't had time, Herberto. I don't know if you know this, but I do I I do play I play uh like five different games. I work three jobs. I don't have time to play all the games that people want me to play. I'm sorry. I wish I could. It would be fantastic if I could make everyone happy all the time. But I, I just can't. Hiara, top notch. So we did get into another Pyara by switching to the swim bait, which is nice. What do you work to have three jobs? So I'm a part owner of a, uh, a grill. It's a, they make we make uh, grills in the form of your uh, college mascots. So uh, we have one for JMU, and we got Virginia Tech and uh, Iowa. What else? Um, LSU. Trying to think off the top of my head. Uh, Arizona State, the ones we have going on right now. I got that job. Um, I also work for Sovereign Sportsman Solutions. I do all of their marketing campaigns for uh, different states, different fishing game uh, in Arkansas and Missouri and, uh, and Ohio and stuff like that. And then, uh, and then I do all these YouTube videos for all of you. So I work throughout the day doing jobs for S3 for Missouri and Ohio and stuff. And then after work, I work on these YouTube videos for all of you to make you guys happy. Come the weekend, I start, I go out fishing to make a video or, you know, I work on my mascot grills for that job. And then before I know it, it's time to go back to work for S3. And I do that every single week. Yep, I inherited a workaholic trait from my mother. We just, we can't stay still. It's difficult. Gotta be working on something all the time. All right, I'm ready to move on. I'm tired of this. This is boring. This is boring. Good deal. All right, all right. Let's get that walker out again. That I think the walker is what we caught that uh that first one on, right? Let's see. 
Pretty sure it was a walker. Yeah. Walker in the morning. We forgot to mark the other location of that unique BR. Small fish coming up for it. Little peacock bass, maybe? Looks like it. They nerfed Surgeon? I don't know. I haven't fished for Surgeon in months. You make lots of dough? Uh, his photos get some pictures, but you gotta, I mean, here's the thing. TikTok, Instagram, like, it's just more work, right? What would you rather me prefer? Put out more TikTok videos or more videos on YouTube? It's gonna take the same amount of time. Not really, but it feels like it. I'm gonna have to set a time, uh, set aside time of my day to produce videos. Would you rather it be for TikTok, Instagram, or, uh... Or videos on YouTube, you know? Pick your poison. That's... Because whatever you do, people are going to get mad that you didn't do something else. You know, I make another Call of the Wild video, like people have been asking. And, uh, and what do the comments end up saying? Hey, when's your next Fishing Planet video? It's like, oh my god. Give me a break. Nice arowana, though. Oh, that's sweet. Top notch. Good deal, good deal. Pros and cons about Kansas. Pros and cons about Kansas. Um, honestly, it just depends on where you live. If you're way out in the boonies, I mean, you might have trouble with internet. Um, other than that, I mean, I really don't have too many bad things to say about Kansas. I have a lot of pride for Kansas. My wife always gives me a hard time because she always, she, you know, she wants to go somewhere warmer. Because uh, that's one of the things with Kansas. I guess it could be a con, is that uh, Kansas has is one of those strange states of two extremes. It has super hot weather and it has super cold weather. And you get to experience it all in the same year. So, um... She wants to go somewhere that's more, uh, I guess it doesn't, doesn't flip-flop so much, you know? More consistent. Come on, Biara. You're being a bunch of pains right now. Three, it's 927. We got three more minutes. Can we get another Biara for the end of the stream? Fishing in the exact same location as yesterday. Or we, or the, you know. Yeah, I guess it was yesterday. There's a fish. Grab it! It's a freaking arowana again. We've got two arowana out of this spot. What is the deal, dude? Went to Florida. There you go. In the, you got a good internet in the boonies now? Good deal. Neighbors are two miles away. And like I said, it depends on where you live. If you're out in the if you're out in the country, then yeah, that could be. I mean, my neighbors are definitely not two miles away. More like I don't know. Two 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 yards is, is too small. I I don't know. Four yards. We got about sixteen four yards is twelve feet. I don't know. I'd say more than that. Five, six Oh, that guy came out of nowhere, didn't he? We got a good 20 feet between my house and the next house over. At least. At least. Great stream, Mr. Mammoth. I gotta go here in a minute, too. Should I just say that from now on? When it's about time to end the stream, I just put it in the chat. G to G. Gotta go to bed. G to G, everyone. Good stream, good stream. Oh, 
I feel like it's annoying, but we might just have to end it on that guy. Oh. Oh. What a freaking fail of a day. All right. Well, we did get a unique butterfly to end it, but I tell you what. Two hours of fishing, three trophy to unique Biara, and one unique Pyara just makes you tear up a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. It's hard. It's so hard. Anyway, everyone, I hope you enjoyed what it was. Uh, we'll be back here on Wednesday, most likely, unless I find a bunch of time to uh, try to crank these guys out. We'll be back here on Wednesday to catch more BR and Pyara to get this darn fish, fish tooth hook. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been, for what it's been, it's been fun. Am I sad about leaving Kansas to go to Wisconsin? In a way, yeah. But at the same time, I'm excited to go after the different fish there. And I know my wife's got the new job she's looking forward to. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about the whole experience. But um, would I be mad if we came back to Kansas? Absolutely not. I love Kansas. Anywho, see you all next time, everybody. So, uh, if you enjoyed it, like the video if you haven't already, obviously. And we'll see you on Wednesday. Uh, if you haven't seen the schedule of all the um, videos that we have out uh, coming out this week, uh, check the community page on uh, YouTube here. Or you can go to the uh, announcements on the Discord and you can see them there too. But uh, yeah. It's going to be it's going to be a fun month everyone and I hope you're looking forward to it. But till then, take care everyone. We'll see you next time. Keep up the work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Planet One Family. Game on.